I am Kelly Taylor Mitchell. I'm an artist, I'm an educator. I'm based here in Atlanta, Georgia, but I am from the greater Philadelphia area. Um, I mean, I immediately think of my grandfather, Pop-Op, Millard C. Mitchell, who was the genesis of my interest in sort of seeking, finding, being in fellowship with family stories, lore, orality. Um, and that was his practice. He was a family historian. My grandfather is from Gees Bend, Alabama. Um, my great-grandmother was a midwife in Gees Bend. So I'm also thinking about um, these different quilting traditions that my grandmother from Virginia taught me growing up, right, that are in certain ways passed down in a very direct one-to-one -one way, and then also embodied, right? The things that maybe you weren't shown but live in your DNA. So trying to access all of that and thinking about those stories from pop-up as that point of departure. Whatever gets the job done, like that's the thing that I'm using. So like that's how I work. Like what is gonna help me connect to the story that I'm trying to tell, help me to learn more, um, maybe be a site of discovery. And I'm interested in these different craft-based processes and right we can think about craft when we think about like an art historical canon craft is often sort of like delegated to the sidelines as if to suggest it's not other types of art right and that's because of the people who are doing it right specifically women people of color queer people right so it's not art it's craft right and it has a utility right it's a mug that you drink out of it's a quilt that you put on your bed right that function also is used to attempt to demonize it um, and so thinking about these works as having a function, just as craft has a function, um, and in this case, that function is spiritual. I'm trying to look to these different traditions when we're thinking about ancestral veneration and worship and build my own practice, right? So not just create a thing. I'm not an initiant um, in Condomblé, for example, right? That's not something I would claim or can claim. I'm trying to build my own practice. Um, so that's something I think I'm contributing, this reminder that that's something we can build, right? We can be, we can exist in these communities where these long-standing traditions exist, and we can build our traditions, right? And um, we can create our rituals. To say being paired with Dr. Artur Lindsay is an honor would be an understatement. Um, it feels affirming, right? It makes me feel seen, um, and it makes me, it really makes me feel excited to continue building my creative community and being in that creative community. So often we are in conversation with other artists, even though we've never met them, right? Even though we've never talked, even though we've never gotten on the phone and talked about the synergy or synchronicities in our work and practice, but they're there. And so I like, really like and appreciate seeing that sort of manifested in this opportunity, right? Those relationships that are incredibly present.